Hi friends, this is a recap of my fall semester at Columbia. I'm gonna be talking about my workload, the switch to remote classes, my class schedule, and how I basically managed to catch up with all my work from being so behind last semester. So if you're watching this, you're probably a student or thinking about going to grad school. And to sum up my first semester, I'm just gonna ask you this question. Like, have you ever felt like you were constantly behind on school, work, or studying? Because that's literally how I felt my entire fall semester. So in the beginning of the semester, I had two classes in person out of five. And those classes, their tests were already, I was already taking them remotely. So one of my classes, it would be, we would take it over the weekend, like on a Sunday, it would be open for 24 hours. And then the other class, we would take the exam during class time just remotely. So when finals at Columbia went virtual, it didn't really affect me. In terms of workload, I felt like I was always behind because I moved in very late because I applied very late. And so when I got in, all of the uh, housing assignments for living on campus at TC were taken. And so I was pretty much on the wait list. And so I had to find my own housing, which was a hassle in it of itself, super stressful. And so I moved in super late. I wish I had moved in a month before because it would have given me time to adjust and like learn how to use the subways by myself, even though I've been to the city plenty of times and I've used the subway. I don't know, like I think just moving here and like living here is way different than visiting. So I have to commute to campus. I don't, cause I don't live on campus and I don't live super close. I mean, it is pretty close, but it's not walking distance. So it's usually like a 25, 30 minute commute. It's like a 10 minute walk to like the campus from the subway once I get there. And it's like not too bad on the subway either. It's like 10, 15 minutes. So I had to get used to basically like adjusting to that and adding that into like class time. So it would take literally an hour to get to class and then have class and then come home. It just takes a lot of time out of my day. So on top of getting used to living in the city and like live, moving in so late and having to commute, I also didn't have a couch or like a de desk table because everything was back ordered when I first like moved in last semester of uh, 2021. So. I think, I don't know how the furniture now is if you're moving in and if it's back ordered and it takes a while to order, I think it probably does take a while to ship. But my couch, and I did not have a couch or a desk chair for like a month and a half. So that also kind of made it hard for me to like do my assignments and my work because I just wasn't able to get it done like in my own like apartment. In terms of workload, something that they don't tell you about grad school and something that I really wish that I knew was the amount of reading that you have to do is literally insane. I had two classes that were super reading heavy and for each class, it would be like a 60 page packet that we would have to read and write a response paper for. And so it was like 120 pages I was reading every week and writing papers for. And like the paper, it was like a page single space, but like you had to synthesize like basically like all of the different readings that you basically read. And it just was so much reading and I'm a slow reader too. So getting through that every week was honestly a struggle. I also didn't want to skim the readings because I felt like what I was reading was very applicable to what we were learning, so I didn't want to skim the readings. In terms of how I managed to catch up, because I did feel behind like for the majority of the semester, but like midway through, I was kind of able to catch up and low-key get ahead of my assignments. So definitely the first two months, I was super behind, struggling a lot, was barely even going out in the city because I just had so much work that I would have to study for tests, cram, do all of that, do my assignments very last minute, stay up, all of that. So I didn't really get to do much. What basically helped me was going to the library and staying on campus Friday mornings and Saturday mornings. I never have class on Friday. I would basically go right when the library opens, like in the morning or on the weekend, it's usually like at noon it opens. And I would be like one of the first people to go in so I can get a spot. And I would literally sit there for at least like from nine to like the afternoon, like one, two, and then I would leave by three and I would get a lot of my work done for the week. So throughout the week, if I was too busy doing other things or I had other things going on, I would already be caught up with the work. But see, again, like if I 
didn't do any work over the week, but I did it on the weekend, then I, you have to keep doing the work to be able to keep getting, not getting ahead, but getting it done so you're not doing it super last minute. I didn't go home on Thanksgiving weekend. I went in the beginning of November just because the tickets were cheaper. And I, when I went home for like the five days that I did, I literally did not do any work at all. And the next week I was kind of catching up, but because I did majority of my work before going home, I didn't really have to, you know, cram and catch up last minute on my work assignments for the next week. I was able to like throughout the semester go to different places around the city, go to cafes. I studied at a few cafes. I went to the New York Public Library to study. Love that library. The Rose Reading Room is so nice. <music> That was my recap for how my fall semester went at Columbia.